Today, I'm going to show you how to remove anything from 360 Immersive Video with the brand new Content Aware Film in Adobe After Effects 2019. You can remove the camera operator, drone, 360 rover, and even the annoying coffee intern that always walk into your set in the wrong time. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Before content aware film, the only way to remove objects is using Mocha VR. But now, removal gets a lot easier and even I can do it. So, get a cup of coffee and let me show you how. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Hugh here from Korea. Uh, so, right now we have three clips right here. One is something that I call it Jong Po. What I did is I carry a really long Po and then I'm just walking but pretend that there's a jump because as you see this footage right here, if I play it, I am at Washington Monument, the Lincoln Memorial, short clip. I'm not allowed to fly a jump over there. So basically it's really long jump pole with a camera right here and just walking over it. Make it look like we are flying. So the whole point is I need to remove myself, which is the operator, so example one, it's very common. Second example right here, a very typical scenario. Yes, it's actually a rover. So that is actually from our Meet the Determined project for Special Olympic documentary. And uh, we have the Insta360 Pro 2 on a rover, as you see right here, checking over it. And we need to remove the rover. And this is a pretty complicated shot with shadow, stitching air, and reflection. So we see how good is content aware film on this scenario. And we also have a typical drone shot right here. If you, if I play this, Look up, it's a giant drone right here. And we are flying on top of Athamon, Atham uh, at Greece. So that's a really pretty view. But we need to remove the drone. So this is a three most popular job requirement for any 360 pole production to remove the drone, the operator, and the rover. So let's take a look at each clip to see how to actually remove all of them. So for clip one, we'll go ahead and replace with after effect composition. So we open up an after effect right here. So after open after effect, we we'll go ahead and take a look at the footage. So step one on any 360 footage is to actually see the 2D of this footage. So go ahead, if you haven't already, open VR Com editor. Go ahead and open that. And then right here to go ahead and add a 2D edit. That is a very common workflow for any 360 video editing in After Effects. If you don't know what I'm talking about, refer back to my old tutorial here. Go ahead and add 2D edit. And pick the com right here and go ahead and hit add 2D edit. So now we can pick the camera too and pan down and you see me walking right there. Just try to, try to find the center point. And you can go ahead, drop the resolution to quarter. Go ahead and see this. So this is me walking in the Lincoln Memorial. By the way, I post this video on Instagram and on the professional group. People think that I'm flying a drone in Lincoln Memorial and get really angry. So sorry guys, that is a bad prank joke. Uh, I'm not flying a drone in Lincoln Memorial. I am actually faking it. Jung. But it looks so good that people think that I'm actually flying a drone. So that is the technique I'm gonna show you right now. So now let's go back to the frame number one. And I'm gonna draw a mask around me. Let's go back to full so I can see what's going on. Go ahead and click mask. Click the calm layer. Go ahead and draw a garbage mask around me. I am moving so go ahead right here. Open up mask here, pick to none, so you see the entire frame and the mask. 
Uh, after you draw the mask, so now go ahead and open mask. Make sure you click mask path. Hit the keyframe right here. And then move it. For the frame one, cover myself. And then just go ahead and play the footage. And just kind of manually move the mask to make sure the gap, the garbage mask is cover me in each frame. So you see, each time I'm insert a keyframe in the position of the mask path. Okay, this is actually we get really interesting because usually in Mocha VR, uh, Mocha Pro, it, this is actually pretty hard to track the remove. See if how good is the content aware feel compared to Mocha on the remove. Okay, that's done. Let's make sure that last frame. Yeah, I'm still in frame. So you actually don't need to manually track. This is a really simple shot. So I just throw in a garbage mask to track myself. But if you want to be more accurate tracking, I would highly suggest check out an other secret weapon of mine. The Mocha Pro right here. Use it and you can have a really accurate tracking if tracking is your issue. So now, let's go ahead and turn the mask back to subtract. So now you see the mask. And then if you don't see content aware field, go ahead, scroll down your window and it should be right here. Content aware film. Uh, if you don't see that, meaning that you are not in the latest after effect 2019 spring version. So make sure you update that. By the way, I'm going to NAB next week and this is actually a big announcement on NAB. So hopefully I will see you guys in NAB. So now go ahead and I like, you should have some alpha expansion for the mask. So you should pick around 15, 16, pretty good. I also love to add a feather around the mask. That's a little tips for you guys. So we'll have a better smooth remove. So go ahead and add some feather. Uh, I think that's about there should be good. We do the same thing in Mocha Pro as well. This is just experience I learned from using Mocha. And then go ahead and pick object because that is an object. I am a object. But if you just track, remove a surface, like a logo on your MacBook Pro or, or any logo on any machine, you're moving a camera, you use the surface, it's probably easy to track. And if anything, if this tool doesn't work, try edge blending. And here is the entire walking area. And then we just go ahead and generate fill layer. The good thing is why after that's doing that, it just like 3D tracking too. You can continue working on your next shot and just in the background let after effect do its thing. And also you see that this is real time. It's really, really fast. Thanks to the brand new machine I got from main gear with the brand new Intel i9 and also the GTX 2080 Ti. I have this amazing, amazing speed. So if you check out my machine, uh, I will send the link right here. Oh, see, it's already done. So now it's rendering. As you see, uh, Content Aware View actually generate a JPEG layer on top of my layer right here, as you see. And I am already gone. Look at that. Just like magic. How cool is that? So now go ahead and do a RAM preview in full resolution. Because I have the machine to do it. Oh my God, look at that. It's perfect with move. You can't see anything except the last frame you might see a little bit thing i actually no i can't see anything it's a perfect remove okay for those of you guys if your clip is start right in the beginning and the end if you see premiere i actually this clip is not started from the very beginning so i actually have like before and after frame to let after effect the look before and after but if you see weird stuff in the beginning or the end of the frame, just make sure that you pick only the middle part to use uh, because if your footage doesn't have enough frame to for after, you've had to look before and after, it will not have a great removal. This is not magic. It's after you've been looking for pixel to remove your footage. So that's another tips for you guys. So they look amazing. So the last step is go ahead and back to VRCom, open output render, boom, I'm gone. And you just go ahead and render this out, then you're done. Okay, now next, look at the pretty complicated roller shot right here. See if you can handle that. Go ahead, again, replace with After Effect Composition. Okay, go ahead and same idea. Go ahead and add a 2D. Great naming job here. That is pretty confusing. Okay, but it's comment number two. Go ahead and add a 2D edit. Same idea, go ahead and pick a camera tool, pan to the roller shot. So now, why this is a more complicated shot? Because 
Well, this shot with a Insta360 Pro, and there's a stitching involved, uh, and you see stitching air everywhere in this footage. Uh, I should do a better job in stitching, but I'm lazy. So let's see how good is removal done by the content aware film from After Effects. So go ahead, same idea, pen to go ahead and draw a garbage mask. Talk open the mask, make sure that is none. So go ahead and just manually track it. By the way, this is a pretty high resolution. This is 8K by 8K stereoscopic. I'm just looking at a one eye right now. Uh, my machine still play real time at full, no drop frame. That's a pretty beefy machine I have here. Again, go check out main gear. That is their machine. It's, it's pretty amazing. So the mask is pretty good, like because the camera is right underneath the rover. So there's no extra stuff I need to do, just no keyframe. The whole thing just right there. Okay, moment of truth. Now let's go ahead and toggle open content aware film. So now it's done, but the result is pretty horrible. So this one look like actually content aware film is not doing so well. So let me go ahead and hide this layer. So let me try a second time. This time I try to get it as close as possible to the rover. And then I'm also gonna try to use create reference frame. So let me go ahead and see, create a reference frame. So I open the frame in Photoshop. So right here, I'm actually gonna paint out the rover right here. Okay, so go ahead and save that, close it. So now we should have a reference frame right here. Let's go ahead and create one more reference frame right here. If you see a reference frame, you actually type a reference frame number right here. So you know which frame you have to reference frame. So more reference frames will gonna be a better removal. That same principle is gonna apply on Mocha as well. That's how you do a perfect removal for Mocha is actually generate reference frame, but Mocha have an actually better system to do that. So I think it's good enough. So go ahead and save it. Close it. Okay, now let's try again. So now it's actually a great breakdown to see how the actual content aware film work. So if you generate reference frame from frame number one, to me is frame 37 and then frame 90. So as you see that content aware film will use the reference frame to morph between the first frame to the middle frame and to the last frame. If you play that, it's not perfect, but a lot better than what we had before. You see, if you see what we had before, that's what we had before. And that's what we have after, just by inserting three keyframe as a reference frame. So for this really challenging shot, the reason why is because horrible stitching job, different lighting, reflection surface, and complicated background, and also so close to the object and the remove area is so big. Oops so big, I would highly suggest to just go ahead and generate more reference frame in Photoshop and then use that to morph between frame and you will get a perfect result if you do the work. But at least now you have a way to do it. Again, if you have Mocha Pro and Mocha Removal Audio, this process will be way, way much easier. And I will show you the same result for Mocha Pro at the end. But let's move on to the last shot, which is a Amazing drone shot and we need to remove that a pretty big area, which is the really close up drone. So go ahead and again, replace with after effect composition. So same idea, go ahead and add a 2D comp. And this is comp number three. Go ahead and add 2D edit, select camera two. And that is actually very big. So 
For this shot, it's actually very challenging because the drone is so close to the camera. Even I use the After Effects VR Comp Editor, I can't get the full drone in the frame to move. So this time, I'm actually not gonna use the VR Comp. I'm just go ahead and remove this entire thing. Do an entire layer right now, right there. Go ahead and hit subtract. Okay, so now we are done, but look at the result. It's very impressive. So before, actually have it none. That is a drone that covered the entire sky. And after, is completely gone. I mean, again, you can probably improve a little bit result right here with the cloud by generating create reference frame. But I just want to show you how powerful is this brand new content aware field for After Effects. Such a break area you can literally remove and replace the skies again if you want to have a perfect removal i would still suggest you try out mocha pro and follow my other tutorial to get a surgical removal but this literally will save you hours of removal time with the brand new content aware film now i just want to quickly show you why i say mocha is still very necessary on removal especially for a very complicated shot like this one you just saw so why not is as you see the rover is gone before after it's gone nicely so let's take a look at mocha so what happened here is i'm using mocha to track so we actually highlight all this little area to track the entire scene with the bg track which is lock and then i have a garbage mask right here remove mask actually BG remove to link to the BG track layer and then I have the remove mask on top of the rover I need to remove if you can't see it if you turn on 360 one th cool thing about Mocha also you can zoom all the way out to see what is going on for the entire frame I go back to the first frame right here go to remove mask right here hold on remove and go ahead just render the first frame as you see, we already have a perfect remove compared to what we had before. In Mocha, as I mentioned earlier, it's actually also very easy to create clean play. As you see, that is a clean play. I just click a button and generate for me. No need to touch Photoshop at all. If you go ahead and open edit, I only generate 4 but not 10 clean play in 0, 30, 60, 120 frame. We take a look at all this frame right here. See, again, look perfect. You actually see the line right here because it's not generated from Photoshop. I, I did not do it. It just generated from Mocha. And I save that as an other frame and then go ahead and hit 60. Same idea. Go ahead and generate a clean play. Again, look absolutely perfect. Look at the straight line. Everything look amazing. And then we go ahead and just save the project. We are not going to remove in Mocha. We got to remove everything in After Effects as you see right now. The only drawback is Mocha is very slow and GPU intensive. So, but as you see, the removal is perfect. And here is the before and after from the Mocha removal. Thank you for watching. As you all know, I was gone for three months filming for a couple pretty big international clients. But now I'm back and I'm doubling down to make more events. 360 post production tutorial for you guys so you can up your game in 360 VR to support me making more tutorial for you guys don't forget to share this video to your friends and to your boss subscribe if you have not smash that like button and support your boy Hugh so he don't need to go away again to take on more DP job just to keep the light on and I will see you in the next amazing After Effects or Adobe Premiere tutorial.